everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your host Arlette and I'm here with the lovely Jessica. Hey y'all. <laughs> Good to see you again. Yes. So Jessica, as you have seen, the episode two of Pop the Balloon or Find Love has gone everywhere. I know you've seen it. I know you felt it. How has that been? It has been very bizarre <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. Um... I had no idea that this would have like been as viral as it has been and right. like to see it be shared on Tasha K, world star hip hop, yeah. Tyrese. Tyrese. It was a whole lot of whole lot of <laughs> going on with that. So it has definitely been a very interesting experience to say the least. I bet. And then so, you know, the people want to know more about you. Like, tell us about yourself. So I am a native of Cleveland, Ohio. I am 31, <laughs> not 45. And y'all, it's not giving ain't tea today. Yes. Okay. <laughs> or Anita Baker. <laughs> okay. She came with the interest today. Okay. <laughs> Um, but a little bit about myself mm -hmm. is I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah. Like I said before, I'm 31 years old. Mm -hmm. um, I have a background in education. I got about 13, 11 degrees. Wow. Uh, right now, I'm completing my certification to be in real estate. So mm -hmm. I'll be a real estate appraiser. Yes. And um, a little bit about me is I don't eat beef, pork, or dairy. Okay. I work out five to six days a week. I love naps. <laughs> <laughs> Long walks on the beach. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I think that's pretty much it. Okay. And what made you, um, have you always not eaten beef, dairy, always? Um, so I actually gave up beef and pork about 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. But I started having stomach issues and my okay. stomach would be doing the Millie Rock. <laughs> <laughs> so... I had to figure out what was going on. So mm -hmm. I actually did some testing to figure out what the issue was. Yeah. And I was having like an intolerance to these things. Oh, wow. So I gave up the dairy and the chicken was so hard because I love me a good a that good part. wing. Mm -hmm. Fried hard flat. Ooh, buffalo with some so ranch. Not even chicken? <sighs> nope, not even chicken. So what do you what does your diet consist of? Like what do you eat? vegetables oh wow okay and salmon mm. and maybe some other fish sometimes i'll eat like crab but that's it for the most part oh wow okay good good and so how like what made you want to start your weight loss journey so i've always been juicy y'all and <laughs> i'll say this from conception so i was born nine pounds three ounces okay. and i've always been heavier mm. and this is a misconception that people have that like i was big because i would just eat tons and tons of food mm. as a child you know what i mean and kudos to my mom you know she would take me to doctors to say hey like why is my child a little bit heavier than some of the other children mm -hmm. so it has always been ingrained in my head that i need to have health and, and to be fit and to eat right she mm -hmm. wasn't feeding me cooks and cakes and you know i don't even drink juice or pop to this day because she never gave it to wow. us and um it wasn't until i hit my highest weight of 350 mm -hmm. Cause I always been that girl, okay. Face card never declined. Period. Okay? <laughs> but I was just uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You yeah. ever felt like what uh, what uh, TJ uh, what's his name? Have you ever been swallowed up? <laughs> oh, TDJ. Yeah, TDJ <laughs> swallowed up. <laughs> like I just felt very uncomfortable. Oh my god. Like yeah, you know what I mean? And I just I wanted to break outside of that shell. Yeah. And then uh. From there, I just kind of started my weight loss journey in 2012. Okay. And 150 pounds later, here we are. Nice. So since 2012 till now, you've been working towards that. Mm -hmm. And do you have a specific goal that you're trying to get to or it's just health? Like, um, That is a great question. I think I'll know when I get there. My initial goal weight, well, my highest weight was 350. Mm -hmm. uh, my initial goal weight was 250. Okay. And for all the naysayers who keep saying my back big, <laughs> I just hit under... 200 pounds and I weigh 199.5. Yes. So, <laughs> I would love that. So, <laughs> um, we'll see. I, I keep toying with the number of like 165, 170, but okay. it could change. Yeah. So, but my mama said I need to slow down because now I'm just be head and hips. Uh. But, <laughs> <laughs> right, because what waist snatched? Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. 
Oh man, that's amazing though. Like I love Thank to you. hear that. And I'm just on your Instagram. I see that you're always posting all about your like your fitness and all mm -hmm. these things you do. So do you run like classes? Is that what that is? Like, oh, so I'm glad you asked about that. Uh -huh. We just opened up. It's me, gorgeous fitness. And essentially, right. what that is, I'm offering three different plans. Okay. We have the booty buster. We want to get them glutes right. We have the waist <laughs> snatcher, and we have a full body transformation. Okay. So, essentially, with that, I give you a supplement list, I give you a detailed meal plan, mm -hmm. I give you specific workouts. And because each individual one is customized, yeah. like the, they're not different. Okay. I mean, they're not the same. They're not the same. That makes sense. Uh -huh. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. We see you out here, mm -hmm. Jazz. Okay. <laughs> so. Go ahead and get a little bit into the show and what the people have been saying. Okay. Ooh, y'all done came for me, man. <laughs> we gonna start it off. The haircut. The auntie haircut. Jess, what, what what happened? We saw you change it up today. So what we happened did. that day? We did. This is oh, this is OG Jess right here, y'all. <laughs> so like they really went in on me in the comments. Yes. They said it was giving auntie. Mm. They said the part, the like Moses part of the red C in the back. It was just, okay, so I want to explain a couple of different things. So I have a pixie cut, mm -hmm. and at the time, I was growing my hair out because I wanted to go blonde. Okay. You cannot bleach relaxed hair. So, y'all, that was like three to four months worth of hair growth. Uh -huh. And, like, yes, I had to do a whoop de whoop <laughs> because it, it's just, it was just, a, it was a lot going on. Uh -huh. But, y'all, so, yeah, they were saying I look like a granny. I was looking like uh, Anita Baker. But I did mm -hmm. watch it back in the part. It did give, like... Open sesame, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, TDJ is swallowed up. You could have got oh, swallowed man. up in that part. But <laughs> <laughs> so, was that a usual haircut you were of uh, like hairstyle you were wearing at the time, or no? And like the thing is, if you have a pixie cut, for those in the pixie life, you know, uh -huh. the longer it is, the harder it is to maintain it. Which mm. is why usually I like my hair to be very, very short. Okay. If you go back to my, my photos. On Instagram, you'll notice that my hair is really short, but at that time, my hair was like this long. Oh. So if I put a little curl in it, of course, it's going to give Sister Mary on the front <laughs> bench. You know what I mean? So I could see the optics of it. But y'all, that ain't what it gives in real life. Okay. Okay. Good. So to clear it up, y'all, that was a one-time situation. Yes, it was. And it just so happened to be when we were filming. Yes. <laughs> Cause, and I was supposed to get it done that week, but my stylist said, baby girl, we're going to have to schedule oh. it for next week. And I said, oh. Not the stylist. Why do they always play us like this? I know. But she get me right every time, so I couldn't yes. be mad. Perfect. Yeah, she got you right. You're looking good. Thanks. You're looking good. <laughs> and so another comment that was thrown out there was something about you being masculine. <sighs> What? Okay. How did that make you feel? What did you think about that? Like, what was going through your mind? You know what? I just couldn't really grasp the concept of that. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the way that I handled myself, which it was with so much poise. Yeah. A feminine woman could not have received what any of those men had to say. Mm -hmm. I was a combative. I let them speak. I didn't cut them off. I even said, that's fair. Right. We're all entitled to our own opinion. Uh -huh. When I was asked, <laughs> my opinion, though. And I, you know, had you not asked me, we wouldn't have never got Move top on, on me. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> had you not asked, we wouldn't have got nose ring. Right. We wouldn't have got a whole lot, a whole lot of. That part. So, I mean, I was asked in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And also having confidence, right? Society tries to tell you as somebody who has been heavier their whole life mm -hmm. that you should not be confident. Mm. And I have worked years to build up what I refuse to let people tear back down right. so if i work with if i walk in the room with a certain confidence about myself mm -hmm. one you're not going to tell me i'm unhealthy mm -hmm. because i am mm -hmm. and it'll like you ain't touched the weight never <laughs> you know what i mean yeah you're not going to i'm not going to let you do that mm -hmm. so for me for for folks saying that i came across as being masculine or bitter yeah i think that um to me it shows their level of being able to look at something objectively okay so all right yeah because I, people were just cracking up at taco meat. Like, how did you even come up with that in your head? You like, know what I, that, and you know, it's so interesting because uh, when we actually filmed it, I was uh -huh. like, you got your taco meat all out. It, you could hear a pin drop when I said it. So I was like, I mean, but that's the first thing that came to mind when I seen it. And yeah. I just was like, you got your taco meat out hot. You can't, uh, can't come for me. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And so like, what were some of like your main takeaways from being a part of the cast? 
Um, you won't always be everybody's cup of tea, mm-hmm. but you will be somebody Hennessy on a rock. <laughs> and to not take things personally, we all have our preferences. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's okay to have your own. Yeah. What you don't like, somebody going somebody would love to eat all this meat off the bone. Yeah. No nasties intended, just saying. <laughs> but um to each his own. Yeah. So. Exactly. And so with the show, like, you know, being all over Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, you name it, how has it been like getting all this social media attention? So I'm gonna butcher this name and if somehow I feel like you're gonna see this Toby, Nukubabwe. <laughs> <laughs> Try Jesus, <laughs> not me. Because if I got time, uh-huh. I'm like the thing is, people think that they can say anything to you. Oh, you bitter. Oh, like oh, oh, look at that part of her head. Mm. Oh, oh, uh, she look like Squidward. Oh, somebody said I had a collard green arm. I did. I, <laughs> oh I did get weak. When you lose 150 pounds, you will have extra skin. But right. neither here nor there. Mm-hmm. But like. It can be hard, but on the same in the same token, you can't say what you just feel like you could just say to anybody and that yeah. they don't have a response. Or mm-hmm. now that they respond to you, oh, 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 why you respond? Well, you shouldn't have said something. <laughs> so if you're going to tag me or something, if you're going to say something, just make sure your page private. <laughs> just. <laughs> or you either like Beyonce, Obama, or Jesus. Because... <laughs> I'm going to give it back to you. Oh, my goodness. No, but that that is too funny. And that's a great point. Like you said, like, because I've been seeing the comments all over. People are saying this, that, and the third. Now, are people sliding the DMs as well? Yes, they are. <laughs> I would have never popped my balloon. <laughs> they tripping. You didn't come across masculine to me. Yes, they have. And yes, I'm still single. Mm. I'm still eligible. Eligible. I can talk eligible. <laughs> eligible bachelorette. <laughs> yep. Oh my so, goodness. Yes, I am. The DMs, they have been popping. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah. Now, have you been seeing more positive or negative attention from, like, this video? Honestly, it's been almost 50-50. I've, okay. been, I've gotten people who say congratulations on the weight loss. Yeah. Like, I can't understand why people are saying you're masculine or you're bitter. You were very nice about it. Mm-hmm. But then you have people saying, oh, Mars is, Mars is part of the sea. Oh, it's giving Squidward ate all the Krabby Patties. <laughs> oh, look at that arm. What was, was so food? Big Ma, your arm. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. No, the internet is crazy. Yes, they are. So it's been a mixture of everything. The thing is, y'all, the fat comments are so easy. It's mm-hmm. such an easy, lazy read to me. Yeah. Find something else. Mm. Oh, okay, I'm big, not what? Mm, right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And then so I saw recently on your page that you started up your own YouTube account. Yes. How's that going? Yes. So I'm getting ready to drop my second video pretty soon. Make sure you follow me on there. I'll be talking about a little bit of everything from workouts to fitness to dating to makeup to just random stuff. Um, Lifestyle. Because I am vegan-ish. Maybe some vegan stuff. Uh, Life in Phoenix. So make sure you follow me at It's Me Gorgeous on YouTube. Nice. And any last words you want to say to the people? Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. It is, actually. I am not 45. (laughs) I am 31. This ain't given ain't tea. Period. And she will be around mm. for a little bit. But if we decide to go back to Anita Baker, <laughs> that's my prerogative. <laughs> okay. And say what you want. But my back ain't big. Period. <laughs> Let them know, Jess. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, Jess, we loved having you on. Thank you. And you were such a bright light and like just so much energy, great jokes, great comebacks. I was just cracking up the whole time on the episode and now. Like, I love being around you. And just thank you so much for coming on and being part of our cast and just being you. Thank you so much for the opportunity, Arlette. <laughs> <laughs> and too, because me and Arlette love a good chuckle. Uh-huh. Yes, we do. You're going to see them shoulders bouncing. Yes. If you see me and her, we're we going to get y'all one of those for sure. So. Exactly. Well, once again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Jess. Thank you. Yay. <laughs>